Today we're going to be doing an acoustic guitar shootout to find out exactly how much more tone money buys you. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. My name is Tony. I'm addicted. Today I'm holding my acoustic guitar. This is a Martin acoustic, beautiful acoustic guitar that I love very much. And I think you guys, if you're into acoustic guitars, you will definitely like today's video because we're going to be doing a blind shootout between three acoustic guitars. The Martin, a Yamaha, and a Donner acoustic guitar. And it's a upper, mid, and low level price range guitars. We're going to be seeing exactly how much tone more money or less money buys you when it comes to acoustic guitars. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start off by playing all three guitars, which have similar appointments. They all have a solid spruce top in this case. So the Martin uh, comes in at the upper end of the price scale. Uh, the Yamaha is sort of mid-level and the Donner, which I just got a couple of days ago from Amazon, is definitely at the lower end of that price scale. Now they all have similar appointments when it comes to tops, but the body shape is slightly different, so you have to take that into consideration when you're making your choice. The Martin and the Yamaha, uh, no, excuse me, the Martin and the Donner both have cutaways, while the Yamaha is a full-sized body, okay? So you have to keep that in mind. Also, the Martin has a slightly thinner front-to-back size than the both the Yamaha and the Donner. So again, keep that in mind. And finally, when it comes to strings, the uh, Martin and the Yamaha, the strings are not new, they've been broken in, while the Donner has new strings, but they're probably less um, quality in terms of the type of strings. They came with the guitar, I have no clue what they are, but I'm pretty sure they're not high-end strings. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're listening to it, uh, make your judgment based on that criteria and that those pieces of information so you can actually try and compare apples and apples. Now for the sound recordings, we're going to be recording all three guitars the same way. I'm going to be playing a passage where I'm going to be playing single notes as well as strumming a couple of chords. It's going to go by pretty quick, so pay attention. I would recommend you guys use headphones for this to actually get the full effect of the sound. I'm going to be recording all three guitars the same way using my zoom recorder with the same pick on all three, same distance on all three sound samples so you get a, an accurate representation of all three as closely as I can with the equipment that I have here today. So let's get started. I'm going to be playing all three, pay attention, and then at the end of that video I'm going to be telling you which one was which and you can tell me which one you preferred. Let's get started. Okay, so if you guys didn't cheat, like I asked you to do, be honest, I know some of you cheated, but if you didn't cheat and scroll ahead in the video to see what the answer was, we're going to be playing the clips again. This time I'm going to show you which guitar it was. And you guys will see which guitar you preferred, whether it was the lower end, mid or high end guitar. <laughs>
Number three was the Yamaha. So number two was the, the Martin. And number one was the Donner. So guys, did you pick the right guitar? And what is the right guitar? In many cases, buying a guitar that costs more money will actually give you better tone, better quality woods, better construction, and better hardware. That being said, in many cases, you may not require that. It all depends on what stage of guitar playing you are in. If you're a beginner and you don't have unlimited funds, you might feel perfectly comfortable purchasing a mid or low-end guitar for the time being until you can get familiar with what you prefer in an acoustic guitar because there are a lot of choices when it comes to woods, body sizes, body shapes, and hardware. So until you know what you need, you might not want to buy a very expensive guitar and get stuck with something that you don't like. And it might be worthwhile to start off with a lower end guitar, get familiar with it, and then finally decide what your preference is in terms of styling, body shape, and woods, and then hone in on exactly the right one where you could spend a little bit more money, but you're gonna keep it for a long time and you're gonna get a lot of satisfaction and, uh, and fun out of playing it. I hope it was an eye opener. And for those of you that are considering purchasing an acoustic guitar, I hope it helped you realize that Although there is a difference in sound, the difference is not as huge as you might think. And, you know, for in some cases, you might just feel it's not worth the increased uh, money to pay out to get a higher end guitar. Post your comments below if you have any questions regarding the three guitars that I played in this video. Ask away. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. If you have any questions regarding acoustic guitars in general, you can definitely ask me those questions as well. I'll try to answer as openly and honestly as I can to help you guys out. Please consider subscribing, thumbs up if you can, and spread the word. Every Sunday at 10 o'clock, we have a live event and we talk about gear and a host of other things. There's always something interesting to talk about on Sunday morning. So if you're available, stay tuned for that. There'll be more great videos coming your way.